Hello folks and welcome to Let's Play Tug. I'm Kieran Dave, uh, who has no real relation to Tug, um, but I thought I would give it a try as I love Minecrafty games and I love building games and I'm really actually excited about Tug and all the material I've seen about it. And uh, yeah, so uh, someone gave me a free alpha key to try the game because they heard I love these kind of games and they had an alpha key to give away. So uh, I thought maybe we'd give it a try. Now the game is kind of early, so there isn't apparently a ton to do. But we're still going to try and do what we can. Should be fun, I think. Should be fun. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, let's just go ahead and make a new single player world. And then maybe if it's any good, and you like it, and we want to watch it, maybe we can get together with some of my friends and we can do some sort of survival thing. On a multiplayer, like a Hunger Games kind of thing. So let's ski. Let's just call this world, uh, Given It Our All. Given It Our All! And the world seed will be, I don't know, um, for Queen and Country... Four. Uh, there you go. For, for Queen and Country 4. For those of you who know what it's all about, that's the thing. Map size. Um, it doesn't really let me choose that yet. So, yeah, I mean, I guess, let's go. Oh, boy. So, I haven't actually done very much with this. Whoa! Yet. Um, I basically log in a little bit and play a little bit. And, oh, it's so desolate. It's kind of beautiful. And there's a goat there. Goat! Hey, goat! What's up, goat? Goat. Um, wow, goat. You are, you are a smaller model than I do. I can crouch, okay. Oh, man. So I think maybe the sound is a little loud. Let's just go through here, and uh, let's turn down the master and the ambient down all the way to, like, this. Let's just leave it like that, and that should be better. There we go. Okay, now it's not roaring in your ears. Oh, man, look at this place. What's over here? Is that a wall? Okay, so this is pretty cool texture. Pretty cool texture, especially for an early alpha game. Um, look, I have like little kitty kid hands. Oh wow, look at this! It's like a it's like a strange, a strange wall. Like ants came through here. Ah, oh, a rock. Okay, I've got a rock. Now, if I understand it, I can pick up more rocks. Now, if I understand it, I can actually find. Uh, other rocks, smaller, like medium-sized rocks. So eventually you can smash these huge rocks, right? And get lots of resources out of them. But we're not there yet. That's technology we have yet to possess. I think we can smash, yeah, these rocks. And so that gives us some rock, and that gives us some rock. We can smash these. There's another one over there. So let's get over here. Oh, wow, look! It would appear we have orange trees. Okay. Now, some of these things, these uh, second things, I think that they're sharp enough that if we find the right kind of grass, we can actually actually do something with it. So we just have to find some plants that are eligible. I think also these saplings here are eligible. Yeah. So you see we get some binding agent and a stick. All right, so what should we think about here? Hmm. It's nice morning. It's good. Oh, man. Look at this. I got, I got fruit. This tree, I wonder if it'll fruit over and over again. Well, I mean, I, supposedly this game actually models seasons which means that we probably won't be able to get much from the same tree, so it makes the most sense to gather things now. What the heck is that up there? What is that? It glows. It glows. Okay, so let's go back over here and smash this. No, come back. Come back. I need you, stone, pumice stone. Oh, wow, look, a, a sharp rock, and then pebbles, and then another flat rock. And we can pick that up, too. So now, what was this? What was this? It's like some sort of weird... Ew, it's like it glows. Can I can I cut it down? No, I can't. Okay. But this I can. Now. Um, right. It's kind of beautiful here, isn't it? Wow. I wonder, since there's so many fruit trees around here, this area kind of gives me a nice lay of the land. Oh, it looks like there's another steep hill over there. I should probably think about surviving the night. Now, I don't know if the night is more dangerous than the day here, but I do know that uh, things can get dangerous in some situations. So, and, and they'll only get more dangerous over time. So, let's pick up a little bit more binding. Oh, wow, I dug. Huh. Okay. Look at this. So, this actually seems like a pretty good place, right? Like, I can get up here. No. Whoa. Oof. I'm fine. Huh. 
So this seems like a pretty good cliff for us to aim for. Now, can I uh, cut this down? Oh, I can. Oh, amazing. Okay, so we've got some binding agent. We've got some fork sticks. Uh, small, like some small branches here. Can I get that? Thank you. And uh, I've got a pretty good looking area here. So maybe the first thing we should do after grabbing a bit more wood and sticks and whatnot is see if we can build something to help us dig and set up a basic, a basic survival structure for ourselves. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Wow, this terrain is cool. So supposedly there are caves too. So there's like a bamboo forest over here and more of those strange glowing plants. Strange glowing plants. Okay. Um, how about over here? How about over here? All right, so there's like an autumnal forest here. And then off over, there's like these weird kind of yucca plants around over there. Um, I think that this is a good place. All right, so let's... Ooh, there's another rock here. Let's see if we can set up a little base at the top of this little uh, cliff here. It seems like a good spot. And then we can kind of move out from there. But it's I, from what I'm told, it's not so much about making a base in this game. It's about making tools and surviving and whatnot. Um, whoa. Huh. Well, I seem to have fallen down a hole. Can I get back out? Oh no, I can't. Maybe I can, maybe I can, uh, I don't necessarily want to... Can I, can I break out here? Almost. So I can cut the over... Oh boy. Okay, I almost had it. Ah, ah, okay. Right, we don't necessarily want to fall down there just yet. Now, can I use this to... No, unfortunately, I'm going to need a proper digging tool. It's just kind of a coincidence. But yeah, look at this This canyon here. Cuts... Ooh, a melon. All the way over here. Interesting. Well, I'm sold. <laughs> this is cool. This is cool. Now, how did I get up there? Here we are, by the fruit trees. And back over there is where I spawned, and then presumably that rude goat. All right, um, this looks not bad, so why don't we start? Now, crafting in this game is a little different from other games. Um, so why don't we start by making something that can process this rock? I think if I go like this, all I have to do is kind of look down at the ground. And like, let's see, so I want a, I think this is a small branch here. So I can just toss one of those down. And then I want, hmm, I want a round stone, I think it is. So let's go ahead and I think this is a round stone. Yeah. Let's toss that down. And I need a little bit of binding agent. Every single one of your tools needs a binding agent. So let's go ahead and toss one of those down. Now, if I, I think it's if I hold down E, no, um, R, what was it again? Options, input, craft is G. Okay. Yeah, so I can try crafting this. As you can see, I managed to get a um, hammer out of this. So let's go ahead and pick up the hammer. All right, and I think with the hammer, we can start to smash things more effectively. Um, although I'm not sure exactly what, I think it's just a better duration. Oh wow, look, wow, we actually totally took out that ham that rock. All right. I wish I knew what this was, this like pumice stony stuff, right? Looks like Scopes is gonna go back and play some more Dota 2. Uh, I was streaming Dota 2 with him earlier. Let's see, um, what else could I also use? Maybe, um, do I have enough? I, I know that I did discover one thing. If I put one of these down and then I, I craft it, I think I get a um, small ax. Yeah, so there we go, that's an ax. So let's, let's just have a tool pile here. There we go. Now this axe will actually let me touch, cut down trees a lot more effectively. So now I'll be able to actually start working on some other stuff, right? Um, so let's see here. We want to make a shelter of some sort because we need it. So let's designate a, a couple piles for things here around my sacred rock. And uh, yeah, first first thing is since we don't have any chests, we'll just have to drop things. So let's, it looks like these are actually building material. So maybe I can make a hut out of them. But let's go ahead and drop all this here and drop these big ones. Yeah, them big ones. And um, let's make sure that we have, huh. So we have some, some rocks and we have, I don't know what this is. 
That's a really good question what those are. I wonder if I can throw those? Maybe I, maybe I can chuck those around. Like, maybe they're like throwing rocks? I don't even know. Nothing in this game is actually named. It's up to you, the player. Oh, I wonder if they're like seeds or something. Huh. Well, that's fine. We're just going to toss it to the ground for now. Okay. It's getting dark. Hmm. Uh, I wonder if I can make a torch. Like, is that possible? So how would I make a torch? Um, well, I would want a branch. And maybe I would bang together some rocks. So let's see, I got... I got some more of these. Oh, some strange... Whoa. Sorry. Strange sounds out there. Okay, maybe maybe I can light the stick with two rocks? Oh, I can! Oh, that's awesome! Okay. Oh, wow, this is cool. Look at, there's like, um, a kind of a fog rolling in. Oh, this is ominous. Okay, I don't like, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. What are we going to do about this fog? I don't think it's even nighttime yet. It's just the fog. Is there, it, it almost looks like a forest fire. So, um, there's only a few of the recipes I know of that I discovered. But um, I think I know a few of them. So let's see, though, about the building. So I think that these are actually building tools. So let's see. We go like this. Oh, yeah, check it out. So we can actually build out a little lean-to here as kind of a, um, a place for us to hide underneath. You know, keep the weather off. I'm going to need a lot more of that stuff, aren't I? I wonder if I can... Well, I can use the hammer for now. Right, so probably we're just going to have to make this our campsite. Um, I wonder if I can build like a bed or something. That might be really a good place to start. So what we need to do is make sure we have our tools in hand. Because I know I'm, I know I'm going to need some more materials. Now, I'm a little bit nervous. A little bit nervous. Not going to lie. Because, I mean, like look at all this. Who even knows what's out here? So I wonder what we can do with it. Um... I wonder what we can do about it. Because it's night and there's no real place to sleep. Man, look at those particle effects. This is great. Good. This is amazing. And look at my little hands glowing. I'm actually looking like I'm pretty hungry. So let's eat some oranges that we uh, took to in the middle of the day. So we can go, oh yeah. And there's my little blue hunger meter there. Okay. Let's see if we can actually cut down bigger trees now with this axe. Can we cut down one of these? Oh, wow, we can. And then we can take this log and cut this up, too. Okay. Well, this is going pretty well. This is going pretty well. Uh, we can do that with these, too. Yeah, binding agent. I can't pick up those. Okay. Um, and then we can cut these plants away as well. And the, the axe is doing pretty well on durability. So I'm pretty, pretty pleased about that. And uh, let's just... I can't really do much with this. But we're going to have to find some more rocks. So this area is fine. Um, can I like plant this in? Oh, I can. Okay. What I think what that means is that I'm going to run back over here. I know it's getting a little dark. Maybe I should just bring this with me. Right. But I think what this means is that what I should do is run back over to this pile. Right. And I should put down my small torches uh, or small, small branches. Right and um, two of my round rocks. Right, I should pick up the binding agent. Now if I craft, I should make torches. So I should just go G. Yeah, it actually consumes the rocks, which means that it's a little tricky for us to, yeah. Um, do I have any stuff that I could build with? So I have some cut logs, some planks. I guess, or no, I guess I guess I have some, some planks, yeah. I could use these. Um, just make a little pole. Can I just stick it right there? No. Huh. That's not as tall as I wanted. Okay, well, um, can we put it right there? Okay. Hopefully this will help me find my way back. There's no maps. So we're going to have to be careful in the night. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. 